Yo, 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 what up? It's Kizzle from Kizzle Picks. Bring you a little NPV parlay slash picks of the day. Um, you know, we're coming off a little tough night, but we're going to turn it around right now. Got to stay confident and bring it up, you know, because every night's not tough, man. We're usually pretty good, so we got this, you know. Um, yeah, we're gonna get going on this video uh, right away. I don't have too much time. I gotta do a few things today, but anyways, don't forget to comment. I mean, hit me up in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're new so you get the videos right away, and let's get started. So, right here, we got Hanshin and Eradicating Golden Eagles. For Hanshin, we got Yuka Nishi pitching. He's 2-4 and four with a 4.42 ERA. And for Rakuten Eagles, we have Masahiro Tanaka, ex-New York Yankee pitching. He's 3-3 three three with a 3.96. So, uh, this game right here. Uh, Tanaka pitch is pretty good, man. Uh, I expect him to give up some runs, though. You know, he's not the same as he used to be. I expect Hanshin's guy to give up some runs also. I don't really like the first five over or under. I don't like the number there. It's a little difficult. But I like uh, Rakuten, first five plus half a run. I like the under, six and a half. And I like Hanshin to win, though. And the money line. Uh, I just don't think the last place Rakuten Golden Eagles can beat the first place Hanshin Tigers two games in a row, guys. I even with Masahiro Tanaka pitching. <laughs> All right, next game we got the Hiroshima Toyo Carp versus the Hokido Nippon Ham Fighters. Uh, for Hiroshima, they got one of the pitchers that I like going today. We got uh, Aaron Curry. He's four and two. With a 2.03 ERA, but he's going up against Takayuka Kato, 4-3, with a 2.25 ERA. So this game, I didn't really like the overs and unders, and I kind of used my 20 picks already. If anything, I like the under 6, but not enough to really put it in this right now. So we like uh, the first 5, we like the carp. Plus half a run. I think it will be close. I'm thinking like maybe one to one or something like that. So we got that half a run. Maybe, you know, a carp two. I don't know. Something like that. So we like the half run there. And then I think the final is also going to be close. So we got the ham fighters plus one and a half. Next game, we got the Tokyo Yakut Swallows versus the Chiba Lote Marines, man. They're going on a bad patch, man. Lote Marines over here. They were in first place, but now uh, Orox is up five games on them, man, because they're on like a six-game losing streak or something, man. And let's see, the last ten games... The Chiba Lote Marines are 3, 1, and 6. So, 3 wins, 1 draw, and 6 losses. But they're still averaging 4.8 runs, which is the highest. Yeah, the highest in the NPV. How does that make sense? You know? Well, they play Hanshin, 3 of those games, right? And they played Yumori also. And now they're playing the Yakut Swallows, who are four and six, averaging four point two runs. But anyways, for pitching matchup today, we have they have a good pitcher going today, so should be all right. For Yakut, we got KG Takahashi. Uh, for Lote, we got CC Mercedes, Christopher Mercedes. They call him CC. I think he thinks he's CC Sabathia. Yeah, right. He's a uh, Oh, Takahashi is 2-2 two two with a 3.96 ERA. And CC Mercedes is 1-3 with a 2.30 ERA. So this way, right here, we like Lote. First half plus half a run and over four. Uh, we like them full game 
I'm taking them plus one and a half just to be safe. But I do like them on the money line, man. I don't expect them to keep losing like this. I know that the Swallows are pretty good right now. They're on a four-game winning streak. But I don't expect that to stay happening. And we got the over seven. So those are my plays there. Next game, we got the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars against the Fukaka SoftBank Hawks. For Yokohama, we got Kenta Ishida pitching. He's 2-2 two and two with a 2.15 ERA. For SoftBank, we got Nao Higashihama. <laughs> Uh, three and five with a four point one eight ERA. Yep. Uh, all right. So, therefore, we like Oklahoma the first half plus half a run, and we like the over three and a half. Uh, the Bay Stars are coming off back to back losses: one to Cebu, one to the Hawks. And boom, 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 where is that? The Hawks have back-to-back -back wins, man. So, we like the Hawks plus one and a half. Again, they went on that big, big, uh, oh, no, no, this is softback. Never mind, wrong team. Yeah, we like them, and they're pretty decent. They're in uh, third place in their division. They're 27-2 and 21, where Yokohama, oh, I got it right here. <laughs> Yokohama is 28-22 and 1. So, you know, it's not too bad there. I think uh, it's a pretty even matchup. And we like them Hawks. The Hawks are averaging 4.3 runs per game in the last 10. And the base stars averaging 3.6. We like the over in this game. Well, first I said uh, first half is Yokohama and over 3.5. Then we like the Hawks and the over of 7. And that's it. Next game. The Trinichi Dragons and the Saitama Cebu Lions next. So, uh, for Trinichi, they won yesterday 2-1 to one over Cebu. Where, let's see, over here, Trinichi is actually tied with the Yakult Swallows for last place now. Um, and... Cebu is in second to last place in their division. And over the last 10, Trinichi was pretty hot. They're 6-4, averaging 2.8 runs. Cebu is 4-6, averaging 2.6 runs. And for Trinichi pitching today is Hideki Waku, 2-6 with a 4.06 ERA. And for Cebu, we have Keisuke Honda. He's 0-1 with a 1.15 ERA. So, we like Cebu's pitcher a little bit better. I think this is just his second start of the year. Last time out, I got his stats here. He went four innings. He struck out four, two walks. Uh, he gave up two hits. No runs, so... I think he pitched pretty good against Shinichi, man. We like Cebu plus half a run. I like the under six and a half. And I think I'm going to sprinkle a little on the money line for Cebu. But I got safe. I'm going safe, man. I've been having a tough... I had a tough night last night. So, you know, I'm playing it more safe today, guys. But we'll see. Maybe in the big boy, I'll switch it up a little bit. So, yeah, we like that. Next game. Uh, we got Yumori Giants against the Orox Buffaloes. Another pitcher that I like, it's Yumori's pitcher, Shose Togo. 6-1 with a 2.81 ERA going up against Orox. Uh, Ryuhi Sotana, Sotani, 0-0 uh, zero zero with a 5.40 ERA. So we got Yumori all over this game, man. Uh, we really uh, like them today. I know Orox is now in first place. They're seven and three in their last ten. Um, Yomori is three and seven in their last ten, coming off two losses. Orox is on a three-game winning streak, but Togo is a good pitcher, man, and he can go the whole game. So I got faith in him. I think he's got like two or three complete games. 
this year. So I like them there, and I like them to score a little bit today. They're only averaging 2.4 runs per game over the last 10, where Orox is averaging 3.6. So I think uh, Yamori can get to Oryx's pitcher for about two or so. And Togo might give up one in the first five. So we like uh, Yamori minus half a run. We like the over three. I think it's going to end up on three. It's probably going to be a push. Uh, then we like the under six and a half. And we like Yamori money line. And that's that, guys. Hang tight. And I will bring you a parlay of the day. Alright, guys. Here's the first one. It's not that great of a payout, but it's a little plus 2204. So, we got uh, under 6.5 in Hanshin and the Golden Eagles game. Um, we got the Hokey Do Nippon Ham Fighters plus one and a half over the carp. We got the Swallows and the Marines over seven. We got the SoftBank Hawks plus one and a half over the Bay Stars. And then we got Cebu over, I mean, plus one and a half against Chinichi. I'm probably going to go like that too to jack it up a little bit. Yeah, we'll do both of those. And then we like uh, Yumori and Orox under six and a half. And I'm probably going to play this one too in there. Yeah, I'm going to put in all three of those. So why not? All right, guys, hang tight and I'll bring you one more. All right, guys, here's the last one. This one's a little bit better payout. Plus two eight six one. We got uh this is the first half one. We got Rad Rakuten Golden Eagles, you know, our boy from the Yankees pitching plus half a run. Uh Hiroshima plus half a run. And uh, Lote Marine plus half a run. Yokohama plus a half. Wow, everybody I'm doing plus half, huh? And Cebu plus half a run. And Yomori minus half a run. That's the way we're going there. If you want to switch it up at all, I would go over three and a half here. A much better payout. So we're going to do both of those. All right, guys. You guys have a great day. Good luck to everybody. I'll work on KBO. I'm not sure if the lines are out yet. I hope so. And I'll do it right after this. I got to go pick up my son from school, and then I'll do that. Um, good luck to everybody. I hope we hit. Uh, hit me up in the comments, uh, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're new so you catch the videos right away. And good luck. Uh, let's beat the books. Let's get them. Good luck. God bless. Kizzle out. Peace.